It's working? Yeah. OMG, it's working! This exactly happened with our <laughs> beer keg. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Okay guys, so in yesterday's vlog, I teased you, but sorry, my hair. <laughs> I teased you in sort of a cliffhanger style about something that just arrived that is super duper cool that um, was introduced to us actually by my cousin Edmar. We saw him and Nika use this and we we're like, OMG, we want that. So guys, check out what just arrived. This little contraption. Do any of you guys know what this is for? Well, I'm about to show you guys. It is so cool. So guys, first check out RJ spread. Beautiful, beautiful wine spread and tablescape. Cheese. There's almonds there, goji berries, um, candied walnuts. So, so yummy. Candied cashews. Oh, I love the cheeses. Can't wait. Look at how beautiful and exquisite. Oh, I like this one. The coaster. It's so, it's it's a leaf, a golden it's leaf. Too. Yeah, this whole placement, a uh, golden leaf. And look, golden leaf, I guess, saucers holding olives on toothpicks. How cute. Awesome. Geometric shapes for the candles. And guys, the wine we are drinking tonight is Shanti Roca from Italy. This was also sent to us from Edmark. Thank you, Edmark. But this, this is the star of today. It's called Ervana, okay? And we're going to try it for the very first time today. You guys will be mind blown. Okay, guys, for all of you wine connoisseurs, all you wine lovers, this contraption is like crazy. It's quite expensive. This costed us around around $200, right? See? Um, it takes battery. It's got this beautiful rubber outside. Um, and there's a button you press here that you press and then you could turn it and it opens. See that? See it? it takes battery, guys. This is battery operated. It takes triple A battery. Six of them. Can you believe it? All right. So it snaps back on. Get this. It's an aerator for your wine. Now, now, for those of you who don't know wines, red wine, well wine, you need to swirl them in their glasses. You might see people who are drinking red wine and you see them swirling it, right? And what that does is it aerates the wine. It oxygenates the wine. What that does is it brings out the flavor of the wine, the true flavor of the wine, because like apparently ethanol is in wine as well. It needs to evaporate and, and leave in order to really appreciate and open up the flavors of the wine. So wine drinkers swirl their wine You'll see them swirling it or they're like, you know, putting it on their table and swishing it around or there are special like pitchers called decanters for wine Which are like very beautiful and also quite expensive it Helps that aeration process for you to open up the flavors of the wine and you know They say like the wine flavor starts to really come like eventually like not when you just pour it in your glass It like comes as as more oxygen enters the wine Whatever. However, guys, this here is an automatic aerator. So basically, it goes on top of your bottle. You press this button and dispense the wine. And the wine that comes out is aerated with oxygen through some processed pressurized something or other. Unbelievable, right? And as soon as we heard about this, RJ and I are like, OMG, we need to get this. Okay, so we're going to try this for the first time. Um, let's open this wine bottle. And apparently, like, even... <laughs> Cheap wines can taste really good when you use this thing. Isn't that awesome? I can't wait to try it. And it suggests in the instructions to try the first glass, not with the machine, like pour yourself a normal glass of wine and then try it with the machine just to see the difference. So you can really appreciate the workings of this contraption. This is gonna be awesome. All right, I'm excited guys. By the way guys, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. That's RJ Garcia, my boyfriend over there. And we have Cypher, my dog, right there. And Legaya, my African gray parrot, who is uh, vocalizing in the background, you hear her. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button. Join the Mabuhai squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online yes. and right now these vlogs all about the home vlogs <laughs> you know what I'm saying we travel all over the world we usually have worldly adventures animal adventures all around Philippines even but because of this pandemic the roams it's all about the home vlogs for now which is okay all right so popped the cork put that aside so let's try the wine just as is okay so a little bit like that RJ, come in, come in, let, come see my boys, come and see your beautiful face. I love wine. <laughs> RJ drinks, loves wine. Okay, wait, wait, guys. Let's toast. What RJ think of a toast, okay? Oh, don't swirl it. Yeah, let's yeah. not swirl it. <laughs> so, what? Toast to what? Love. 
Love, love that. Let's try it. Non aerated, fresh out of the bottle. Mmm, still good wine. Yeah. Sour. <laughs> Sour grapes. Quite bitter. Okay. Just try with that. Mm. See, now I'm feeling a little bit of warmth in my stomach. Apparently that means the alcohol content is really high and it shouldn't be like that. That's what a guy told us, remember? When we went to the wine tasting. By the way, if you haven't seen our wine tasting vlog here in Manila, you must. We were mind blown. And also the other vlog to check out is the vlog when we went to Japan, to Yamanashi, to the winery. Oh my gosh, Japanese make good wine. Okay, so this apparently attaches to here. So let's do that now. Catch that. We just stick this part in the bottle. It's not supposed to touch the bottom, the bottom apparently. This is supposed to, side. not even the side. It just needs to like rest like about right here. It's apparently supposed to float over the sediment. You know in wines, when you pour, there's a little bit of sediment, like a little bit of like dark pieces in your wine. Apparently that's not good. Like you shouldn't be drinking that, I don't know. It's, it's less than perfect if your wine has like sediment. I don't know. But this apparently helps reduce that sediment. So you don't want to put it all the way to the bottom. Just like, I guess like that. Yeah. This is like an antenna. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, so I'm assuming like that. Okay, let's try. Ooh. Okay, so then you put it in. Okay, and it's supposed to, you're supposed to cause a suction. Oh! Did you break it? I hope not. <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't break it. You just have to put it in, see? Okay, now that it's in, ready? Pressing the button. Oh, there's an on button. <laughs> no, it turns on when you when it's sucking. So, oh, it's not working. RJ to the rescue, reading the manual. <laughs> These kind of complications happen to us all the time. Remember when we tried to work the keg, the beer keg? It's the same thing. Cypher totally wants to be included and involved. It's like, what is it? What is that thing? <laughs> Cypher, we're trying to figure out this machine. Guys, is Mercury in retrograde? Because I think we received the defective unit. We've tried switching out the batteries. Well, yeah. It's working? Yeah. OMG, it's working. This exactly happened with our beer keg, okay? Never mind. Oh my Wait. gosh, RJ. I was just about to go on a rant <laughs> about how it broke. Okay, so we figured it out. I work my magic. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so go. Oh, cool. Oh my. Yeah, go, go, go. Oh, it go. looks aerated. Okay, me too, me too. Oh my, I love it. I love how that LED light turns on. Yeah. All right, so now it's aerated. No need to swirl. Let's see the difference. So we remember what it tasted like before. Let's see RJ's reaction. Do you notice a difference? Yeah. You do? Let's try this, Mabu High Squad. Oh yeah, there's a difference. It's not sour anymore. It's not bitter anymore. <laughs> yeah, RJ <laughs> says it's not bitter because he was saying it's bitter, right? No. It's not Oh my! Oh, a noticeable difference! Mm -hmm. And it's not warm in the stomach! Oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever! <laughs> I love this! And we can always bring it, right? Airvana. Yeah, when it's so traveling. It's so portable, you can bring it! You can even bring it to a restaurant! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh my! It's like, excuse me, I like to order a bottle of wine and then you... <laughs> oh my! Okay, awesome! Alright guys, I'm gonna have an olive. Mmm! Cut myself some cheese. Mmm. Yes, guys. I'll tell them it's working. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We were so worried this wouldn't work. Candied walnuts. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's all about that home life. This is the best cheese. Is it? Yeah. RJ says this is the best cheese. Is it better than Bel Prado? No, but. <laughs> guys, we love Bel Prado cheese. But let's try this one. It's called Manchigo Reserva Corrado. Manchigo Reserva Corrado? Mmm. Do you like it? Mmm hmm. Oh my gosh, the aftertaste is really nice. It's really, you know what it tastes like guys? Smoky sour cream. That's the best way to describe, am I correct? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to say this, but I have a knack for describing tastes. Mmm. Mmm. I do like it. What is this, Havarti? There's another cheese, let's try the other one. It tastes like Havarti. Provolone. Usually they slice it thinner. I like provolone cheese too. And this white one? Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Just cow cheese. Cow cheese? They all come from cows. <laughs> that one is... What's this one with the holes? With the holes? I think that's Gouda. Gouda. Mmm. Mm. My favorite is still this one. This one is Jack cheese. Probolone. Oh, probolone. Mmm. Mm, that was really good. I really Gouda. like this one too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, but yeah. This cheese, the smoky sour cream. I know you would like this. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. My love and I are going to enjoy our wine night. With the gang. With the gang, we're going to be seeing Raquel and Edmark and Nika online. 
So I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna see you in the morning. Love you guys. Mm. By the way, all you wine drinkers, you must look into this. By the way, this is hashtag non-sponsored. Airvana. Look it up. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, there you are. Did you sleep well? Yes, the dragon has been fed. She's eating. Oh, look at those eyes pinning. She loves my breakfast. I stuck some uh, papaya seeds in there, and which she loves to pop. And also threw in some uh, tea grinds, some bird tea grinds. Just mixed it all in there. Good morning, Mabu High Squad. OMG, look at my hair. I showered before bed, and doing that, it's always like very risky hit or miss, because when your hair dries, it dries in the direction that you're sleeping so then you wake up like this anyways it's a great morning today and um, I have some plans now guys it's a little also sad but happy because someone is missing from this household today and it's our little cypher he's currently spending the day with his brother at Raquel's house so that's gonna be really fun I'm Positive he and his brother are just having a blast wrestling non-stop by the time he gets back here this afternoon He'll be so tired. <laughs> you know what wait. I'm getting a half. I apologize. Okay I really should have fixed my hair this morning. Anyways gonna be making some cypher coffee now Woo! For those of you who are new RJ and I are working on releasing our very own coffee sustainable Ethically sourced here in the Philippines um, up in the mountains in the Cordilleras coffee and guys this particular blend really great I know a lot of you guys it seems you don't have coffee grinders like I mean unless you're like really hardcore coffee drinker um, You probably don't have a coffee grinder. Um, so we're thinking of offering it already pre-ground these grinds in particular have been sitting here for the past two days. I wanted to see if there's any kind of like difference, whether it's freshly ground, like as in ground up and then stuck into my French press and then drank, or if like pre-ground. So it's just been sitting there already ground, still from whole beans, obviously. I wanna see. Let's see if there's a difference. I wanted to start measuring amounts because I want to experience Cypher coffee the way you guys will be experiencing Cypher coffee. So it'll be freshly opened from the bag. Um, there'll be a recommendation. If you want light, then add this many tablespoons. If you want dark, add this many tablespoons per 500 ml, okay? Me, I obviously want strong, so I'm gonna say one heaping scoop, two heaping scoops, like that and three heaping scoops. Wouldn't it be so awesome and just nice and roundabout if strong is three, medium is two, and light is one tablespoon? That would be the bomb. Okay, so let's just hope that's a good amount for 500 ml. Let's brew the coffee. So this is just 500 ml, basically the amount in your average water bottle. Love it! Ooh, it smells so good. Even after like sitting in my coffee grinder for like two days, it still smells quite nice. And then plus, we're gonna have a tight seal coffee bag, of course, to seal in all of that freshness, right? Of course, you can stick the coffee grinds in your coffee maker. It doesn't have to be a French press. If you're all fancy and you have the drip filters, you could use that. Me, I prefer French press. Although, of course, coffee makers were my life in Canada. I loved them. My parents' coffee maker was the best. Mm, I miss my family in Toronto all of a sudden. It's getting cooler there, I hear. I'm looking at Instagram photos of like my friends and relatives in Toronto and they're wearing jackets and like toques and stuff. What? It's still September. To commemorate Canada. All you Canadians, represent in the comments. How are you? All right, so let's see, let's test. Oh, actually, most of you guys aren't gonna be drinking coffee out of a huge thing like this. I wanna drink it the way you guys probably would. Either a coffee mug or a normal mug. You know what I mean? Like, it's gotta be in the same context. This is not a laboratory marketing research testing lab. This is like real life. Okay, coffee, the night after drinking wine, the best. Put some in here and I'm gonna probably put some in here. Yes. Ooh, this I'll probably drink going outside later, taking the guysies for a walk if she wants to go outside because it's been a while. All right, so a cup of coffee, Mabu High Squad, our coffee. Cheers. I can't wait for the day that all of you guys can drink Cypher coffee with me in these vlogs. We can start the day fresh, clear mind, positive. I've been having like brief spells of like, is it despair? <laughs> 
I don't know how to describe the feeling. Is it depression? No, it's more of like a sadness and like, oh my gosh, when are things gonna change? There are so many non-answers, you know what I mean, to questions, it's just, oh. But let's drink Cypher coffee. It'll pick us up, we'll feel like we're flying. Life is okay. We just need to trust in our well-being, which is our birthright, the well-being of the universe. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow, even, okay, three tablespoons of Cypher coffee is definitely the way to go. First strong. For 500 ml. Ooh, love it. So it's been one week since you looked at me. Sorry, Canadian reference. It's been a good 30 minutes now or so, and the guy is still eating her breakfast, which is a good thing. Usually she'll like abandon her breakfast after 15 minutes of eating. Nope, she is loving everything I've prepared. Yay! I love when the animals love the food. And then right next to her, on the left there, you'll see her foraging toy have put more hot peppers and a piece of papaya, which she's already been chewing on too. Yes, feast my bird, love it. But of course, look at how messy she is. She flings things everywhere. <laughs> Even if there's a guard, like, it doesn't catch at all. So there are crushed papaya seeds. <laughs> Gotta sweep that now. I can't wait for her to be in her aviary, because then she could just fling things everywhere. And maybe we'll have, like, some creatures at the bottom of the aviary to eat all of that leftover stuff. What creatures? Not sure yet. OMG guys, I am on the last few sips of the 500 ml. And let me tell you, I am feeling great. Feels like I'm flying. It's like I'm on like this hot air balloon right now. Flying, soaring over like the vast lands, like Peter Pan, you know what I'm saying? That's what I feel like right now. This is what coffee should feel like. Wow. Good coffee just like lifts everything somehow. It just like elevates like your every single moment. Oh, I love this. Ooh. Guys, I can't wait for you guys to try Cypher coffee, honestly. So in terms of where it's gonna be available, we were thinking for those in Manila, you guys can get it directly from, well, our closest restaurant outlet, which is Amare. Um, we've already talked to Edmark and Nika about having it available at their restaurant. So you guys will be able to get it from there and then we'll see if we could sell it online too uh, for those of you abroad we have to talk to some of our uh, distributor contacts to see if we can manage to get feasible way of shipping it out for a manageable price you know what I mean um, because I want you guys to have it too and feel this this awesome sensation and taste and everything mm. anyways we're working on it guys these things take time in due time Okay guys, positive affirmation for Wednesday, September the 16th. I have the power to change my life for the better and I am doing so now. Ooh, love that, the power of now to change your life for the better. There you go guys, hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation. All right guys, and because it's Wednesday, here is our Whiteboard Wednesday. Thank you so much, Michaela, for sending us last week's Whiteboard Wednesday. For those of you who are new, Whiteboard Wednesday is basically your scribble board. We let you guys say what you wanna see on here and then RJ and I choose one of your entries to put on here for everybody, all of Mabuhai Squad, to see. All right, and this week's Whiteboard Wednesday is is God never leaves you. There you go, and that comes to us from Faye. Thank you so much, Faye. God never leaves you. There you go. Oops, I spelled Faye wrong, guys. It's F-A-E. There you go. Thanks, Faye. guys Raquel just sent us the cutest cutest video and photo of Cypher and Pepper but sadly this vlog is long now so I'm gonna have to say goodbye you guys will see exactly what she sent us in tomorrow's vlog so see you guys thank you so much for tuning in love you so much uh-huh and go to sleep smiling see you tomorrow bye